right, so ready, here we roll. All right, so first thing we wanna do is talk about measurements, okay? So we're gonna look at some, some measurements. Now, what I would like to know is how much salt is in this beaker? And I wanna know mass. So I wanna know how much the salt in this beaker weighs. So how could we figure that out? Measure the empty beaker and then measure it with the salt. Okay. Uh, can you say that a little louder? Maybe turn to no, her for this? No, please don't. All right, so. I say measure the empty beaker and then measure the beaker with the salt. Okay, all right, so let's do that. Maya, could you measure the empty beaker? <laughs> Stop! Move, Kevin. Yep. Looks like about eight, one twenty-eight point eight or seven or nine. Eight, eight, seven. Well, it's close to eight. All right. So, so the empty beaker is one twenty-eight point eight. One twenty-eight point eight. What? Grams. Okay, grams. G for grams. Okay, nice. Uh, all right, thank you. You can have a seat. Um, let's go. Kevin, could you come up and measure the beaker with the salt, please? Okay? Come on up. You can do it. No? You don't want to? Jerry, can you come up and measure the beaker with the salt? Oh, Kevin. Uh, please? No? I'll do it. Celia? <laughs> Stephanie said. Oh my gosh. All right, Nick, you'll be next, okay? You willing to do something up Why there? Why y'all acting so shy? Right. Okay. 428.2. Okay. It's like in the middle of one two. I'm just mad. All right. So, now what I'd like you to do, folks, right now, is figure out how much the salt weighs. So, Mass hold on, shh, shh, shh. I want you to do it, uh, everyone do it, okay? All right, go ahead and come. Okay. You have to turn, all right, there you go. All right, so, Naveen, how much water is in that beaker? Yes. Yes, I grew up here. Chanel. Look over here. 800, uh, 800. All right, so there's about 800 milliliters of water, okay, in the beaker. Now, question for you, all right? We have water and we have salt, so if we mix them together, what do we get? Okay, what's the salt ultimately going to do in the water? Okay, dissolve. All right, so we're going to add Become salt water. 299.4 grams of salt into 800 milliliters of water. Okay, not too exciting, but we expect that the salt Ew, will I dissolve. Think that's salt on my it looked like salt. Okay. It looked like the whole jump filled up with salt. All right. After the jump. All right, so get, get a nice jump. close up of that again, Kevin. Now, question for you. How. Do you, will all this salt dissolve in the water? No, it's too much salt. It's too much salt, okay? Who, Silly, what do you think? No. You don't think it will. Nick, what do you think? I don't think it will. Either. You don't think it will. So how can we get uh, the salt to dissolve Stare at a faster it. pace? Stare it. What Stare else it. could we do to help the salt Stare dissolve? It. Okay, so heating and stirring will Stare increase the dissolving, okay? All right, so I'm going to put this up here, okay? I thought she said eating it. Yeah, that's what I thought she said. Girl. All right. Come on so we're going to start at about medium temperature, which is three out of six. Okay. So, Celia, could you come up and start stirring a little bit, please? Come on. Mimi. All right. Come on, Chanel. Yes. All right. So the reason I say stir with the handle is because it's a smaller beaker. Okay. Come on this side, if you would. All right. All right. So we're going to start stirring that. We're just going to move you to the side, kind of like Vanna. All right? All right. Start it right. Just jump there. All right, so most of us predict that not all of this salt is going to uh, dissolve. You don't have to press too hard. Just, yeah, just lightly stir. Good. Now, um, 
<laughs> could this you be, listen, really could this be part of the rock cycle? Could we make this into the rock cycle? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what kind of rock could be made out of water and salt? So, oh, that crystal joint. Huh? Sedimentary rock, correct. What kind of sedimentary rock? Huh? Igneous. <laughs> All right. Now listen, to get this back into a rock, it what would we have to do? Now. Hold on. What would we have to do to get this back to rock? It's freezing. Then it would be ice, but it would still be water there, but it would be in the frozen form. So how could we get salt? Burning. Because we're dissolving this salt, right? There's some different types of salt. Heat it. Okay? So when, if we heat it, what's going to happen? It's going to get hard. If we heat it, what's going to happen to the water? Dissolve. All right, so the water's going to evaporate. Then what's going to be left behind? The salt. The salt. What kind of salt? What kind of salt is that? Sea salt. Sea salt, also known as rock salt. Okay. Now I don't know if you guys know, but salt is a very uh, important part of life. Is that? It is the multi-purpose Jekyll and Hyde of the mineral world. It can save you, and it can kill you. It can also conduct electricity, whiten your whites, and ward off the devil. It tastes like no other rock, and just try cooking a decent meal without it. Not gonna happen. We literally can't live without it. The ceiling salt, the floor salt, the walls are salt. Stand aside, solar and wind. Could salt be the amazing energy source of the future? Now, salt, uh, how stuff works. So is a lot of the salt gone at this point? Yes. Okay, so we were stirring. Now we're going to add heat, okay? The hot plate is on, so be careful. All right, and we're going to uh, learn a little bit about salt. Now, so our intention is to ultimately dissolve all of the salt. Now, through heat, if we use the lamp will probably take away the hot plate, but then we're going to try and evaporate. That the uh, the glass cracked and there is like a crack in there and like salt water is coming out of the crack but the water is evaporating before it drips and the salt is forming on the exterior of the uh, tempered glass here of this beaker so I think the problem was that we were stirring with a metal spoon and the metal spoon at high temperatures can cause the glass to fracture so note to self don't stir with metal spoon anymore we have some more over here. So it's a virtually infinite shelf life, both on the shelf and underground. After all, it's just a rock, a really old rock. Geologists tell us um, that this salt deposit was formed about 250 million years ago. Okay, go ahead and remove the spoon. Is the salt all dissolved, Ileana? All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we want to turn the solution or the mixture, Ileana, Ileana, of salt water, okay, back into a solid. So we're going to remove the heat source, all right, we'll put that to the side. We're going to take the water and stick it under a lamp. We're going to lower the lamp so the heat source is a little bit closer to increase what? If I add heat closer, what, what's going to increase? Heat. What's the water going to do over time? Evaporate. Evaporate. Good. So by putting the heat source closer, maybe we can increase evaporation. Now, when we add, look over here, Kevin. Over here, we put 800 milliliters of water into the beaker, okay? When we added the salt, it was right around water and salt was 925 milliliters. You can see already, can you see that steam coming off of there? Okay, so it's still hot, and already we're back down to about 825 milliliters of water. So we'll record this over the next few days or weeks or however long it'll take to evaporate. Anyone want to take a guess on how long it's going to take 825 milliliters of water to evaporate? 
how long do you think? Two hours. So you think it'll be gone before school's over today? Okay. What do you think, Ileana? How long will it take this water to completely evaporate? Um, 30 minutes. Okay. Hey, I think Chanel's probably closest right now, so I'm going to say, with the lamp, I'm going to say four days. I've never done this before either, okay? I've never timed it, so we'll figure out. So a week, four days, some of you think an hour or so. All right, so the temperature in the classroom is about uh, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Low in the classroom today was 64, and uh, relative humidity is at 23%. One day later... We are sitting somewhere around 675 uh, milliliters. You can see there's some, uh, some crystals forming at the surface of the water, some cubical halite or salt crystals, and then you can see that you have a significant amount of uh, crystal formation at the bottom. We got somewhere around oh five hundred and forty-five uh, milliliters in our beaker. Uh, with the mixture of uh, salt and water. So we can see that uh, today the temperature here is about uh, 73. Humidity uh, here is 16%. So a lot of uh, crystals forming in there. Got some crystals in the top of that. All right, so it's uh, what Thursday, uh, fourth day here. And we are down to about 450 milliliters in our uh, beaker. So salt is accumulating. Temperature in here today is right about here. So still looking good. Guess I was wrong. Alright, today's Friday, January 10th. And we are down to about. 340 milliliters. And today, a little higher humidity. Relative humidity, but temperature might be a little bit lower than the last few days, I think. Sunday. Okay, Sunday. January 12th. So I didn't get to see uh, the levels yesterday was Saturday. I did come in today to get some grading and some work done. So pretty cool phase. Looks like there's liquid in there, almost like I don't know if you can. definitely crystalline. Not a lot of cubical crystals up top, but. Uh, Okay, one part of this I wanted to show was how the, uh, the salt has crystallized above the water, so there's still some water trapped uh, in the salt, so underneath a layer of uh, crystallized salt. So Today, Monday, January 13th. And... 
The water is almost all the way gone, very little bit left. Rock salt. Alright, so just for the fun of it, we were evaporating some more uh, salt water and we got some cool crystals forming on top of the water. Videotape us. No. Again? Did I videotape you? Yes, our class. It was fun. I still have to uh, edit that.